Are you after a plug and play loading ramp system for your large ship? Or maybe you could even convert this for your small ship as well. Well, in today's video, we're probably looking at some of the best loading ramps I've seen in Space Engineers. And what's even better about these, they come in a variety of sizes and they're plug and play. So let's have a quick look through these. So we've got a 7x4, an 8x6. Both of these are perfect for varying rover sizes. We've got one that could probably fit a small rover, a 5x2, a 4x2, a 3x2, and a 2x2 ramp. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the satisfaction of opening these ramps up. And these are beautifully handcrafted. From the ridges on the ramp itself, it reminds me of just any sci-fi door that you see here. We've got the little spotlights that light up the area. And then the ramp unfolds just like so. I notice there is little feet there underneath as well, acting as a springboard. Just look at the ramp. How easy is that? Straight onto there without any jumping. And we've loaded ourselves in. And of course, it has a fold up function as well. So the ramp folds up. And from inside like this, oh, isn't that just damn beautiful? Imagine integrating that into your ship's design. The two pistons retracting like that and you're aboard your ship. And you can see that's perfect for boarding with a few players, but if we want something a little bit wider, we've got the next one up here as well. So they're all working off a similar system here, but it's just fascinating how each one of these opens up. This one's got that little lighting at the top there to show that the loading bay is opening up. Similar design to the footing area, and that's what you're gonna see across the board here with the rotors in the center and then the hinges down at the bottom. This is a bit large, you could probably fit a small rover. The use of the corrugated texture there in that area is really nice. And once again, we can hit the controller on the inside and retract that up. It looks like the light only plays when the ramp is folding up, making sure you don't get trapped into it. This one looks like it's got a double piston design. Look at that. So that piston retracts and that one, well, it extends, doesn't it? And you can see there's that hinge joint up at the top there. A very nice bit of stable ramp engineering. So let's come on to this next even larger ramp. So this one is where we start to get up into the rover suitable category. You could use the different staircases. Oh, there's a five meter mark as well up there so you can tell how high your grid is in case you want to bring a large grid in and you don't want to clip it in so let's have a look at the system so this is very similar to the previous one we've got the rotors that are folding out the ramp in the center we've got the retracting and extending piston systems that hold that lower part of the ramp very nice indeed towards the end of the video what i'm going to attempt to do is drive up a rover and just see how effective at doing so of this it's just a, such a simple thing to see you see up here as well, it's dual connected to the large grid by these advanced rotors up here at the top. So it's staying quite stable, having that small grid connected to that large grid version. So we're getting even bigger now when it comes to ramp size. As I drop down here, you can see the character. He's, he's not quite dwarfed by these bigger ramps. So this is another five meter, but this one's just even wider. This one's got the same spotlight configuration with hinges rolling out the sides there. We've got the rotors. And we've got the same retraction method. Look how quickly these deploy, though, and redeploy. You could set off or, you know, unload cargo quite quickly. Perfect for deploying a rover at speed or even under a combat situation. But there's that ramp retracting up. And for an aesthetic, these are lovely. They look beautiful in a hangar bay. Let's continue through to the two bigger ramps now. Now, these bigger ramps, I don't know how much space these are going to need, but... This one is very, very tall. There's no sort of height marker on this one, I don't think. No, there is a warning sign up there. But look at the size of that ramp. You could probably get a large rover inside there. That is a big ramp. And the lip is really quite smooth as well for loading on up. And there we are into this big ramp right here. Let's close that up. So this one, to probably hold the weight, is double piston connected. Look at them lights that fold in and out there on the side as well. So they fold out the way of the main arm. Very cool. And is it dual at the bottom? Yes, yeah, so it's dual hinged at the bottom and dual piston there as well. So a little bit more shape there from Clang. But as they get up to these sizes, they're going to need the extra reinforcement. So let's lower this one down from inside for this final one. So this is a dual reinforced. We've got them little lights that seem to flick out there from the side. And it looks like it has a magnetic lock across the top there beautiful ramps let's prepare a rover and just see how easy a rover would go up and down a ramp like this so using this simple truck let's see how easy we can get up here yeah very smooth transition with the springs underneath 
Yeah, so we can get up there and as long as the vehicle has good enough clearance underneath, we can get in and out of these hangars extremely easily. Let's try loading this vehicle into that next hangar going on there. So that was a bit more of a heavy duty unload, but it seems to be doing it just quite perfectly. So let's park that up, sit the parking brake on, unload the next door and drive ourselves in. Now with these little test ones, we don't have a platform here at the rear, so we can just extend this area out with a few blocks for our testing purposes. Just um, building things like this in Space Engineers is so damn satisfying. Just a simple ramp. I remember when I built my first few ramps at the beginning of Space Engineers with hangar doors that moved up and down. We didn't have all these piston contraptions and things, so we were making everything out of thrusters to make things go up and down. But now you can build something this smooth. So yeah, the rover has managed to get itself up relatively easy. And we can move ourselves all the way up to the top. Now, I know you guys like a bit of carnage, so what do we think would happen is if I left this parked on the ramp while it decides to raise up? Are we going to have some sort of issue? I'm expecting that we are going to have some sort of issue here. Okay, because it's all timer-based, so if the timers don't go off in the correct order, unless one timer is set for the next one, so if something is blocking the ramp, it will provide us with some sort of warning. But it doesn't look like the case, but at the same time, it's stopped right there, hasn't it? It hasn't gone any further, so it means that the torque on these rotors and hinges and stuff isn't through the roof. So let's get our uh, ourself in here. Oh, we're going to get crushed like a sandwich. <laughs> I think we'll be all right. I couldn't just quite leave it there. I think we've got to test these doors against a rocket launcher. We're going to hit these doors with a rocket each. Now, of course, if we target Pacific areas, we could probably blow them apart. But what we'll do is we'll just fire a shot into each one and we'll see exactly what happens between each door. Just how resistant are these doors as well. That looks pretty damn good. It's took that rocket launcher pretty well, blowing off the first part of the ramp and the rest of the ramp being intact. It looks like it's had a bit of an issue there disconnecting some of the thing, but the majority of the ramp is still operational and it did protect the hinges on the inside. So let's blast away at this one let's fire a few more rounds at this one what i'll try and do with this if the reload's not too long there we go we'll fire two rounds like so and we will open this one up so it looks like that hinge or and the rotor has failed on that side even the five meter signs drop down the ramp's still functioning really quite well though i wonder if it'll fold back up it looks like it's been blown a little bit out of its housing so we've still got some sort of ramp to enter through that's quite impressive especially with these pistons being broken on either side let's get the ramp back up and see if it'll do that if it folds back up and away that's great that's great levels of functionality so no it looks like we've blown the pistons oh no we haven't so one piston on that side is still functioning one piston is good enough but the top of the sign has broken down so not quite as effective by being hit by a rocket launch. So that was two rockets. Let's just fire one at this larger ramp. So of course, if we do fire into the middle, there's going to be less damage to these other components. But you can see there's been a bit of splash damage over to the spotlights. But these are quite tough and robust doors, even though that they are light armor. You can see it's blown through that ramp there. But it could be fixed up quite easily. Let's give this door a bit of hammering though. We'll fire two at this one. By two just evenly spaced out like so okay and let's see what sort of damage that we get when we open this up so this is one of the larger doors it looks a bit more heavy duty it seems to have taken it we've got damage to the piston system over there on that side the hinge looks like it's come off on that lower part of the ramp it'll probably flop down is the second part extending no so that we've got damage to this second part of the ramp it's actually just it's decided just to fall off i mean the ramp's still usable i guess you could still use that part of the ramp so let's open up another one. So, so I'd say these are semi-delicate ramps. Of course, attaching a small grid into a large grid is always going to have issues with it. But you can see with this one, what I'm really intrigued about with these bigger ramps is if one of these piston systems gets hit like so there. So that's that whole piston system on that side destroyed like so. Can we still raise the ramp? Because having a big ramp activation failed oh is that because yes the timer blocks are taking damage so this must be an absolute crucial area so you're going to have to maybe protect and reinforce the timer blocks because the timer blocks are still operational um, and the pistons are still operational the door's going to work but as soon as you lose the timer blocks you can kiss goodbye to your loading door 
So let's try that again, but we'll fire one at this side here. So that should be the pistons on that left side damaged. But the timer blocks and other functions should still be operational. So will this ramp just fall off? Yeah, they're still working. They're still holding on. Holding on tight. Let's, let's not have that for long. Okay, so there we go. Ooh, interesting. So I want to bring this video to a close here. It's been really fun playing with these. It's nice just to take something from the workshop sometimes and just have a play around with it and watch how satisfying something like a loading ramp is just to open and close and then having a bit of fun with the rocket launcher. So if you've enjoyed this as much as I have today, please hit that like button so we can share it around the Space Engineers community. And hopefully I will see you in the next video.